Hello, my fellow Whovians. I am Kayla with Cafe Crashdown, AKA the Crash Hub. And today we are talking about season 14, episode six, Rogue. I definitely have some thoughts. So why don't we just get right into it? Let's roll the intro. from my my vibe and the way I'm coming across that I wasn't incredibly excited about this episode of Doctor Who and so it's not that it was a bad episode I'm gonna start there we're just gonna go ahead and get started into this it's not that this episode was a bad episode I did have a lot of moments that I really enjoyed and I had fun with, but I feel like given where we are in the season and kind of the progression of episodes that we've gotten to this point, I think I was a bit disappointed. I felt that it was a, I don't want to say mediocre, mediocre isn't the right word. It's just that it was just, there was something that was missing for me and I feel I felt like starting with 73 yards, that was something that was different, that was fun. We have the suspense, a little bit of horror, some sci-fi elements, mysticism, but it was intriguing to me and it was very, I had questions of course at the end, you know, we had the woman doing this uh, <laughs> in the distance and stuff, which was, you know, old Ruby. And when we got last week's episode, I thought that one was very fun. It was fresh, it was, that quirky sci-fi that I really enjoyed with tying into relevant things going on in the world. I just I really loved it. That emotional scene with the doctor at the end, it was so good. And so I felt like I we were just like slowly starting to build this up even more. And so I was like, okay, all right, this is really good. So coming into this episode, again, I'm not saying that it was necessarily a bad episode. It just felt like I was, I felt like we were on this trajectory and then we just kind of like went slanted down a bit, but there were things that I did really like. So I, I want to start there. Okay. I thought the costuming was great. The set design was great. Enjoyed the acting. You could tell the actors are having a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed that. I really thought it was fun to see this side of the doctor. It was different, which maybe was another reason why it kind of threw me off a little bit the it was him being as flirty as he was which he had he he's definitely flirted in the past for sure but not as maybe I've missed it but I haven't noticed it as blatant as how he was in this episode and so it just kind of like took me back for a minute and like I feel like it was just very modern way of like, kind of like hitting on someone. And I don't know, it just didn't, that was kind of like a moment where it didn't really feel like my doctor that like I know, um, just in terms of like how he goes about flirting with whoever he's engaging with. Um, so he was like just very forward about it and very fun. And, and, and the thing is, I, I did enjoy it. And I I thought it, it was a different experience. And we do know that this doctor is different. He has definitely gone through um, a partial healing phase. I'm not admitting that he is fully healed like he claimed that he has, uh, you know, when he was with David Tennant in the last um, 60th anniversary episode. But I do think that he has done some of the work. And so, you know, he's he's in a different point in his life. And so I, I'm definitely here for that. And I do think the interaction with the rope was very fun. I don't know why I'm like hung up on this. It's not that big of a deal. And it's not like that was like what ruined this episode or anything like that. It was just a weird vibe. I think that's what it was. It was just a, a weird vibe to me this whole episode that it just didn't feel like Doctor Who to me. It almost kind of reminded me of like um, if someone were to write a fan fiction. I know that sounds terrible, but that's that's kind of what I got. I felt very fan fiction-y, especially like bringing up Bridgerton, um, playing a lot into the 
uh, current pop culture with that, with cosplaying and how this whole theme of like these alien beings who are shapeshifters, they literally come down here to cosplay as humans and like these different eras and stuff like that, which I think it's an interesting idea, but there was a lot of like tying into those kind of modern pop culture things going on. And I don't know, I mean, I know that they, they did that in the past, but there's just something that was a miss for me in this episode. It, it was like a miss on the vibe. And again, I didn't feel like I was watching Doctor Who and, and really felt genuinely, I think it's the right way of saying it. I felt like I was watching a fan fiction that someone had written on fanfiction.net. Uh, with the doctor doing this like really cute story that I would like read. So I don't know. I would like to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments about this, what you thought of this episode specifically. Again, there were definitely some things like Indira coming back. Hello, mama. Welcome back to the Doctor Who world. Uh, old Susie uh, from Torchwood. She was recasted and got to play this really fun role as the villain if you will and so she she did great her her acting was just really superb and you can tell she was having a blast and so I was having a blast watching her and again the interaction with the rogue the rogue was a really fun character he's a bounty hunter he's into D&D &D, which I love he's listening to some Kylie Minogue in his ship I mean he's he was a fun guy he's a fun character and I have a feeling we'll probably see him again the very much like just come find me doctor and you know he's gonna like drop in at some point you know he's probably gonna be like the the next captain jack where he you think that like he died or he just randomly disappears and he doesn't show up for a while and then he just like randomly appears out of nowhere in a random episode and he's like here to save the day so yeah i think he's probably just gonna be the next captain jack which hey we're here for that we love captain jack and i say this in every episode but ruby is always a delight and i did enjoy that scene when we find out that ruby was actually cosplaying because she found out that emily is one of these shape-shifting aliens and so she puts on like what is it like battle mode because she has the uh, thing that the doctor gave her in the beginning. I can't think of the name of it, but um, it has like the different modes, you know, to like, it was like helping them dance, right? To like know how to properly dance in the right movements. And so he said, just make sure to not turn on battle mode. And so it was fun to see like what that would be. Cause of course we're all sitting there like, oh, that would be cool. I wonder what is battle mode? Like what's, what's gonna happen there, you know? And then, <laughs> and then she ends up doing it. And so it, that was fun. That was really cute. And we did get another reveal of the actress Susan Twist, who's this woman that keeps showing up in every single episode. And so we have a portrait of her in this uh, 17th century home. And is this the one that's been on the way, that's been coming to uh, exact vengeance or whatever it is, whatever their motive is that the maestro and the toy maker were talking about. I'm not really sure, but hopefully we'll find out more about that. And so I am excited for the next episode just to see where this storyline is taking place. Yeah, so I like, I took a minute to collect my thoughts because I like to do these recordings as soon as I watch the episode. I legitimately do my makeup, sit on my couch and I turn on the episode and I watch it and I just watch it with fresh eyes and then you're getting my reactions you're getting me as soon as I come off that couch I run over to this chair you know maybe adjust the lighting a little bit but you know I'm I'm coming right over here to <laughs> to talk to you so this one was very hard to collect my thoughts and I have to say, so when I mentioned talking about the fan fiction, I really think that's what it is. It felt like the story was not canon. And I, I do know that some of you are feeling that way in general about the season. I'm not going to say I've felt that overall. I've been here for this new journey a new vibe of the doctor and this refresh, okay? I, I am here for it. I'm an Aquarius, like I'm totally up for 
adapting and trying new things, you know, thinking outside the box, whatever, but it still has to feel canon. It still has to feel like, mm, <laughs> me saying the same universe, I'm talking about Doctor Who, uh, but in the same universe, canon, okay? And so this, that's it. It did not, this episode did not feel like it was canon. It really did feel like this was like a fan fiction that someone just wrote about a really fun adventure for Ruby and the Doctor, or the Doctor and his companion. So I think that's what it is. And I don't know how I feel about that. It, and it also doesn't feel like an episode that really fits with everything else that we've been doing and the way that it's been building up. So that is it with my all over the place uh, review of this. I'm sorry, next week I will hopefully be more together and more excited about things and we can talk about more theories, but yeah, I don't know. What I'm hoping is that after I watch all of these episodes together, on my rewatch that I'll enjoy this episode even more because again, I didn't hate this episode. I feel like that's how this is coming across. I did not hate this episode. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't even bad. It was just okay. And I have just been expecting more from the season. What did you think? Please let me know in the comments. I really wanna discuss this and see what you guys think. You know, was it a miss for you the same as me? And maybe you can pinpoint what it is that this is lacking. Or did you absolutely love this episode? You thought it was great. You had a lot of fun with it. Definitely let me know. Um, I love hearing enthusiasm on both ends. <laughs> so definitely open up to the debate to chat. And if you enjoyed me being completely bummed out about this episode, <laughs> please give this video a like. If you enjoy this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button. This is Cafe Crash Down Crash Hub. We talk about things that are horror and sci-fi. So I don't just talk about Doctor Who. I talk about a lot of different things regarding the sci-fi genre and horror genre, and we'll be putting out more content as the weeks come. So please give me a subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss it when I have a new video. All right, I am gonna be optimistic. The next episode's gonna be super fantastic. It's really gonna just make everything make sense for me um, and I'm gonna be totally jazzed. I'm gonna manifest this for myself and for all of us. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Take care guys.